hey guys i hope you guys are doing well so today we're going to talk about crb canada emergency response benefit so that who can apply and who cannot basically we're going to talk about it as a student or who those are on work permit can they apply for it and what are the condition and you should apply for it or not and we will discuss this so let's start the video So there are basically two benefit any at this time going on who for you can apply or anyone who is residing in Canada can apply for it which is EI employment insurance and CRB I have talked about EI and this thing in like in the last video so I will not talk much about EI and this time I will talk only CERB so first let's talk about the conditions and what crb is crb is basically a relief fund canada emergency response benefit which is government is giving to people with some condition who lose their job at this period of time and they will be getting 500 per week it started from 6th april as i earlier talked in the video the people it's can apply in a slot like who born in january for way and march can apply on like monday so now let's talk about the conditions who can apply for this or not so first condition is you must be reside in canada so reside mean like who will who got a status to living in canada like if you have a work permit or who are citizen are already included but like international students and workers who got a status to live in canada so those who have like a permit to work here and to live here are eligible and under this first condition the second one is 15 year of age or older at the time of application so this is like nothing to explain in it everyone like like i think everyone will be 15 year old be, before coming here so the third one is you have stopped you have stopped or will stop so i will explain this will stop further and stopped or will stop for worry for reasons related to covid 19 or because you are unable to work due to illness or because you lost your employment for other reasons also be which are beyond your controls and other are if you are submitting for first time so let me first explain that like those who stopped working at this time because of covid 19 and like you lose your job because you are sick or the there is a less hour and your employer told you to not to come and give you layoff and something like that <clears throat> so or like many other reasons which are not in your control other is you have not covet your job voluntarily so this is the main point like if you are quitting your job on your own you're not gonna get it but you're not gonna get it like you are not comes in this condition they are not checking this for now but like maybe they can check it we will talk it further and are not receiving nor have applied for crb from canada revenue agency you are not receiving employment insurance benefit for the same benefit period and you have earned a minimum of 5000 income within the last 12 months or in 2019 calendar from the either employment insurance or self employment income so what this is like in 2019 or within the last 12 months like it can include these months also like january february march and from the last year if you have in if you have earned like more than 5k including your job or including your self-employment income like you are doing uber or skips all those kind all those in total if you have earned more than 5000 in last 12 months including 2019 and this like this starting january february and march you are eligible for this so now let's talk about it like up and applying thing it's very easy you just go to your cra login and log into your account in that way there is two way and that way is easy one so i'm telling you that one so log in your account when you log in there will be on the top there will be a first option is to apply for c crb and you just apply there then they will ask you about the condition do you fulfill this condition then they are asking for a time period slot like for now the slot is going from 15th march to 11th april that is like four week so if you are not working in those four week for 14 days con con like continuously you can apply like today is 9th april yeah i think today is 9th yeah so today is 9th april if you left the job in this 6th and the 6th to 11th you can say like from this monday you stopped working or sunday they are considering the week starting from sunday so it's like if you stop working from this sunday and you are applying now you can't because that will be only seven days but if you have left job from last sunday that will be like 40 consecutive days so 14 
sorry 14 consecutive days so in that case you can apply and like or they will give you one week like you can say i didn't work this week and i'm not going to work next week so they are that's the meaning of you will not be working so you can say i will not be working next week and this week so this is the point meaning of that you will not be working so then you can apply and so how you apply just go to the account there is a covid 19 just click in then select the slot if you are eligible like you didn't work for 14 days they are not checking anything like they are not asking you any paper or any proof like you are eligible or not they are just taking the your consent like you are giving your consent that everything is true what i'm saying and i'm fulfilling the condition and that's it and you press yes and you are applied and they will say you will receive 2000 2000 in like according to your weeks you have been not work in your account if you have like direct deposit already put in your account you will receive it in three days and if you are it's getting by otherwise then you will be getting it by check that can take almost 10 days and one more thing is you have to pay tax on this income when you will file tax next year like if you are earning that is like 2000 earning in a month so you will be paying tax on that next year so remember that also you have to pay tax next year if you are getting this so these are the conditions and how you can apply so now the things come is about the international student so it's like when you look into it and if you have like 5k it's you fulfill the condition they are, but there are the, some confusion people who have already applied for EI so like in EI they give the slot you cannot apply for same period for EI and CRB like you if you have applied EI for last month and you are you can apply for CRB for this month but you can't can't apply both together and like I'm not sure about that, but I, as much as I read, I got to know that after 15 March, whoever is applying for EI, he's automatically got enrolled into CERB. So what that means is if you are enrolled for EI, you will are automatically get changed to CRB and you will get 2K. So people are getting confused and there is a, some kind of glitch because of that. After those who are applying for 15 March, they are some are getting double paid, double paid, getting like 2000 and 2000. And so it's a glitch or something. Maybe they will take it back and no one knows how will, they will take it back or what they're going to do. There is no answer for that. <coughs> so the thing is, one was asking like he applied for EI, but no, uh, yeah, that was a one case. The one guy asked me yesterday that he applied for EI, maybe he applied for 15 March, I think. So his income was, wasn't like more than 5K, so he can't apply for CRP. But he applied for EI and he said like, he didn't go to EI, but he get 2K. So maybe he automatically go, got enrolled into CRB or maybe he, or there is also a reason why, which I read now or you can say today, I didn't think about in that way, like maybe he have applied for CRB and then he didn't consider his income which he earned in january february and march which is also including in this one plus your 2019 so maybe because of that it is like more than 5k that's why so it may get enrolled into crb and he got 2k but still if you are confused and you think it's not it's like you are not eligible or something you can call the cra and ask them and give them a situation like that guy he can call cra and told them this is my situation what should i do and if you are confused just call CRA and ask them before using that money so these are the condition and for international student if guys you are not working not like you are you didn't have a job you are still applying for it or you you left the job not like the employer employer wanted employer wanted to go you left it your own so you can't apply so they are not asking for anything like you have to give any proof or something I listened in the press conference like a reporter asked Justin Trudeau that what for those who are working in as a as essential worker some are working part-time so they will be getting like 1200 300 it may be the case with you guys also who are getting by working 1200 to 300 because most of them are working 20 hours so you will be getting around 1100 or 1k you can say so it's better to stay home and get 2k so people must think like that so he also like the reporter asked the Trudeau, not about an international student like who was working in as essential but as a part-time they are not earning 2k so maybe they will leave the job and they will they will leave the job and apply for CRV and get 2k but then the to reply that it's not in his hand like like not in his hand means like they don't have that much time to like figure out these all kind of things they have to give this 
as fast as possible i mean as soon as possible they like they did, did it in like seven days or something they they have to give fun to those who required it so fast that they didn't think about these kind of thing once but maybe now they are giving it money like in bus by just by two clicks you are getting 2k but maybe they will be checking it when the things get better like when they have time they will check it they will ask you for for some proof those are the question no one have answered but like if you are lay off by your employer employer and then when they ask for proof you can just go to your employer that they are asking for a proof he can give you a consent that yes i laid laid him off from the work that's why he wasn't working so in that case it's fine but if you are left you left your job your own and when they gonna ask for the proof you are fucked up so that's the point so just think about it and the point is there is no granted answer like they gonna ask for the proof or they gonna ask for any document or they just gonna give it money and not gonna say anything about that who have applied so like many people are applying who are not even fulfilling the condition and they got it this is the thing like that's not possible how is it that easy they're gonna give it i think they're gonna check it i'm not sure maybe so it's your choice you're applying on it but it's risky if you are applying it without fulfilling the conditions so that's up to you but still if you're not fulfilling the fulfilling the condition don't apply and and i think i have completed all the questions related to this and i think i have like cleared everything related to crb thing is like you have to earn minimum 5000 in last 12 months that's mean in 2019 plus this starting january february march these three months this is also including like if you have earned four to three thousand before and then like 1k after in these three months on your sin then you are eligible in that condition so read those lines like word to word then you will understand the situation like like they will want some men said like you lose your job because of the covid 19 or the things which are not in your control so read it read it carefully and if you think you are eligible you can apply or you can call the cra and ask them like i'm eligible or not or can i apply maybe they will answer to you so if you guys have still have any question you can ask me in the comment section or in instagram i reply there fast so for now guys that's it and try to stay home only go out when it's necessary so guys stay connected and please like share if if you like the video and do hit the subscribe button see you guys in the next video